can we just ignore the fact that my hair hasn't been washed for quite a few days because I am on my six days off um, decorating week basically so I've taken taking a week off work instead of for a holiday or a nice relax I've decided to decorate my lounge so yeah we've moved everything out of the lounge and today is the first day well actually I did strip one wall the kind of easy wallpaper wall there's actually nowhere in my house to film right now so well there is I'm sat in my kitchen that's what it's come to I just want to do a quick little shopping haul showing you all the things that I have bought to help me with this decorating mission. It costs more than you think. There's a lot of things you need. It's not just get some paintbrushes. Yeah, <sighs> right. Shut up, cat. Get on with this shopping haul. Okay, so first thing I have here is two rollers. Well, one kind of roller with the handle and the tray that you use to put the paint in and then it's got two roller heads. These are such a nightmare. The amount of these I must have bought in my life it's a lot because I try and reuse them but it takes it's such an effort to wash the paint out of them um I do my best but yeah we'll see if these two last us or if I need to buy any more bought these from B&M for $2.99 a thing that I've bought this time round, which I've never purchased before is a step oh this will help with um do not jump on stool this will help with reaching those high bits basically um yeah last time i used a plastic chair of ours that we'd bought from ikea for our games room and i covered it in paint and jim was not impressed he was like you've ruined our chair <laughs> it was only like five pounds from ikea it's fine but i thought this time it's not very safe really as it's standing on a chair this is a little bit more of a sturdy stool do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna write a list of all the price I've got a receipt. Wait a second. Ugh. Did I buy this from Home Bargains? I feel like I bought this from Home Bargains. Okay, this was two ninety nine from Home Bargains, so very handy. Um, this will come in handy for a lot of things, I think. And yeah, and yeah, good purchase. Don't know why I never thought of it before. I've just never really seen them around. I don't think two ninety nine. Bargain saves ruining chairs. I bought two of these. They look a bit hideous. I mean. As if I expect a dust sheet to look nice. I'll show you the other dust sheet I bought because I went to b and first and I bought a dust sheet for £9.99. Let me grab that. Ugh, this one's so heavy. Okay, I bought this dust sheet. See, it looks a little bit more attractive. Dust sheet, £9.99. Um, how big is it? 12 inch by 12 inch. 3.6 metres times 3.6 metres times 3. 3.6 meters by 3.6 meters that is a great dust sheet which i feel like yeah will do a brilliant job one meter by three meters is that much smaller okay that's much smaller but it was only 2.99 it's like a fleece thing it's a bit weird i'll get it out and see see how it is because i'm thinking 9.99 i didn't want to have to pay that much so i might take that one back but we'll see what these two look like first and then if they're useless i will just use that one. Um, yeah, so I've bought two of them. This is something me and Jim purchased a while ago. Uh, oh, I keep thinking it's extendable, but it's not. It's just basically a long wallpaper scraper. A very, very sharp wallpaper scraper. That was, <laughs> that was a bombful. Um, yeah, we bought it from Bevan's, I think. There was a sale going on. And so we bought it and yeah. This is going to come in handy today. I'm not looking forward to scraping this wallpaper off. It's wood chip wallpaper. It's going to take some time, but this would be very handy just having a big long one. We do have a smaller one somewhere as well. I have to dig that out. Ah! Okay, bought the essentials, paintbrushes. Jesus. Right, these were $4.99. So these are $4.99. Few different shapes i don't like buying ones that are too cheap like the really 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 cheap ones have just rubbish bristles so i thought these were just like i mean these are quite cheap as well for paintbrushes i'm sure like experts would say you need to purchase one that costs 30 pound but yeah these are quite decent they'll just allow me to get a nice <laughs> a nice straight line um on the edges because i don't bother with masking tape for the edges i just Kind of do it with my eyes <laughs> do it with my eyes um i just have a method that i use to kind of 
do a straight line i just find it easier than using masking tape um right so yeah i bought a bunch of brushes so i did buy some masking tape Ooh, this was 99p for these two rolls <laughs> rolls of masking tape um yeah the reason why i bought this is there are a couple of areas that i may put it down i may put it down along the edging of the floor just to make sure because the this is the problem usually i decorate i do the i should probably shut the window because all oh, you can hear is seagulls um <laughs> but usually i decorate the walls i do all the painting but i don't care about the floor because i tend to replace the floor afterwards but this time around i've already replaced the floor so i'm gonna have to be super 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 careful that's why i bought these massive dust sheets um so yeah, this, I might have to maybe tape the dust sheets into place, things like that. So I bought this just in case. I did actually buy some from B&M as well. Let me just grab them. Okay, so I bought these from B&M before I went into Home Bargains, which I may take back because they were much more expensive. Um, these were 3 99 Yeah, instead of these that were 99p. So 3 99 oh, it says it on it. 3 99 instead of 99p I don't really need, I know there's obviously more in it there's a lot more but I don't think I need that much so I'll get using these I may actually have some masking tape putting around in my garage somewhere so I'll dig out what leftovers I have as well but I think that'll do me I don't think I need this so I'll take this back and save myself four pound another thing that I've never purchased for painting I usually just use the lid of the paint pot to kind of get a little bit of paint on and like carry that around to do the edging but you can't really get much on it and there is risk of it kind of spilling out so I bought one of these it was $1.29 from B&M so it's just basically a little paint pot you can pretty much use it it's just a bucket basically but oh just not weird just come to the lighting it's very strange anyway yeah so yeah you can pretty much use any kind of bucket that you have but I didn't really have a spare bucket to use so $1.29 not too bad that will come in handy Ugh, another thing i have bought is these all-purpose cloths on a roll so it's just basically these blue cloths that i thought would be really really handy this was one pound and apparently there's 30 on here and it'll just be handy for spillages and just wiping things and wiping my hands and just wiping everywhere essential oh this is nothing to do with decorating well it is to do with decorating i just picked up these while i was in b&m they were a pound, some hooks, self-adhesive hooks, just to hang things on. I don't know, I just feel like they'll come in handy. Stick them in cupboards and things just to hang things that can be, I don't know. I don't know, we'll give it a go. Okay, so when I stripped the first um, lot of wallpaper off the wall, I realised I really, really needed a brush, a dust pan and brush. Um, so I bought this, it's got a rubber head. It's a bit weird. This was 2 99 from B&M thought it was quite expensive for a brush really but I couldn't really find any cheap ones around. I think when I went into Home Bargains I looked and they had one for like 2 49 but I thought there's no point in taking that back and getting that one to say 50p so I have just um, decided I'm going to keep this one and um, hopefully this will just help with brushing up the wallpaper and all the little bits that yeah will end up over my nice floor so yeah I'll just try and keep everywhere tidy as I can with this. I like all the prices on these, don't even have to look at the receipt. So we've bought some sandpaper this is like a sanding block and lots of different sandpaper nine sheets of premium quality abrasive for general sanding use um paper so yeah 249 that was just to kind of get any rough patches from the wall away before painting it i bought some rice but that's not really appropriate oh yes okay so uh, never bought any of this stuff before because usually we just wet the wallpaper with water or washing up liquid water but I thought I'd actually buy just to try and make it a bit easy easier some wallpaper stripper this says it penetrates old wallpaper for faster removal concentrated formula just add water may be applied by cloth sponge or brush fast acting so we'll give it a go I hope it helps I've only bought one little small thing but just just thought it might help adding that so we'll give that a shot perfect right that's everything that I've bought ready for decorating. Do you know what? I'm gonna just quickly show you the paints that I've bought. Oh my god, that's so heavy. Okay. Okay, this is my old oh. I think I need another one. This has got a massive chip in it. 
Well, one of us is going to use that big good one and one of us is going to have this one. That's going to be successful, isn't it? Um, I also have one of the, I will actually have two of these that I purchased from Asda, I think. It was like 89p or something, so I picked up a couple of these. These are just the plastic kind of dust sheets, um, which should just help help cover the floor. And this is the paint colour that I've chosen to decorate the room in. I've gone for perfectly, well I thought it was called perfectly taupe, but apparently it's taupe. So perfectly taupe, perfectly taupe, whichever one you prefer, whether you want to say it right or say it wrong. Um, I've bought two tubs of this because the room we're painting is quite large, so I just don't want to run out. Oh my god, this is so heavy. Okay, I bought this from B&M the other day, which was 4 99 and it's just basically matte white emulsion for the walls. So basically that's just going to be the base coat before we paint on the colour. That literally is everything now. Um, yeah, wish me luck in decorating. I will be filming it, so expect that to hopefully be the next video that goes up. Um, just keep your eyes out for that one. Please subscribe if you did enjoy watching this and you do want to see how I get on with decorating. I do have a little decorating um, playlist on my channel as well if you want to go back and have a look at any other decorating missions I have done. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching anyway and I will see you next time.